Hello everyone and welcome back to our submarine build. In this episode we're going to be working on the submarine a little bit more. We're going to be shaping up the ballast and kind of working on some of the control systems for the submarine. I'm going to also be testing it and seeing how it kind of controls in the water and some of the things that we might need to work on going forward. But yeah guys, so uh, sit back, relax, and, and uh, enjoy the video. We're going to you know, start working on our sub a little bit more here. We're going to start getting a little bit more into details. And uh, if you do like what you see, please um, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more. That way I know to uh, kind of keep making these videos for you guys. And uh, yeah, you know, um, you know, if you do have any questions or concerns, I'm open to them and uh, enjoy the video.
we'll hop into the world here and um, turn the, sh the sub on and drive it around and kind of see how it's handling right now. Um, you'll notice that I started to add some of the ballast tanks, um, the light gray on the top of the craft there. You'll notice that most of that's actually kind of a shell for the ballast. Um, that makes it a little tricky in the long run just because when I do fill the tanks up, most of the center of mass is actually pretty high on the vehicle. But we'll solve that later. You'll see we end up adding a lot of batteries to the bottom of the ship. Um, you know, I mentioned previously that we are going to have an electric motor in here as a backup. So I can kind of get the center of mass a lot lower in the submarine with uh, putting batteries on the bottom side of it. And that will help it kind of control better overall. But you can see right now I'm, uh, I'm adding a control surface at the bottom of it. And this is going to help us with our dives quite a bit. Um, the the water jets are pretty maneuverable and they're really good to use but they're also pretty sensitive so you know i want to have a couple different options for um, controlling the altitude of the submarine in the water this is going to make it a lot easier down the road when we plan on adding control systems into it such as altitude uh, holds and whatnot um, i could use a lot less of a sensitive input and make it a lot simpler and smoother for the operators of the submarine but you can see I'm uh, I'm trying to dive it a little bit here. I know the water is pretty shallow. It makes it a little tricky. But you can see I'm kind of having some weight balance issues here at the moment. And uh, it looks like the front is a lot heavier than the rear. Um, once we get the engine in the uh, rear of the ship, this will kind of balance out a lot more. You'll also notice later on I end up putting most of the diesel fuels, fuel storage in the very front of the hull. Um, and this way I can kind of adjust how much fuel is in that um, more towards the end of the build to kind of uh, help balance out the ship a little bit better. Um, in the early stages, I like doing that just because uh, I'm not really going to know where the final masses are until the ship is completed. So it'll be a lot easier to kind of have that to tune it for now. And then when the ship is ready to be basically completed and published, I will go back with weight blocks and batteries and uh, rearrange where the center of mass really is to make it a lot more of a uh, controllable design.
All right, well, that is just about going to wrap it up for this episode. Uh, we're going to spawn the ship one more time and drive it around. I'll kind of show you how um, how easy it is to turn this thing around. It's really big advantage of using that water jet, which is kind of the main reason that I used it. Um, it's not a lot of math inputs or whatnot, but yeah, it's a really great system. So, um, you know, that, like I said, that is going to wrap it up for this one. Uh, I will be posting more videos going forward. If you guys did like the video, uh, by all means, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button for more. And, uh, you know, I, I, I always like letting you guys know I'm open to suggestions. If there's anything you want me to build or make a tutorial for or whatnot, I am always open to that. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.